Welcome back my YouTube family. I hope y'all are having another good day bringing y'all an informative slash personal video not personal but personal opinion opinionated video uh, Everybody knows about it. It's already been all over social media flooded and stuff. Hold on a second. I take a drink Everybody knows about it. Okay, uh, so I'm in this video I'm gonna be giving you guys my personal opinion on the easy link situation. Everybody's freaking out my DMs got blow, blew up all this craziness all right, so Sit back, let me know what you think, comment down below, all that good stuff. Real quick, before I go any further, shameless plug. So you guys, I started making videos on my 96, or my 95, I wish 96, my 95 Chevy Impala SS. Uh, I got two videos up on the channel. So if you guys are interested, or even if you aren't, when I upload Impala videos, if you could smash a thumbs up video, or thumbs up for the video, just to help it out. Um, I started doing a build on this. I ordered some wheels today for it, so those should be coming in within the next week or so. But yeah, I'm, I'm doing stuff on this too now, so just bringing more content to the channel. So, on with the video. So, as we know, Easy Link is being sued by the EPA, the Environmental Protection Agency, okay? And what I have right here, just because the timing was so perfect, is the Easy Link AutoCal 2.0. Uh, yeah, so I'm actually going to be installing this uh, on a person's truck soon probably tomorrow and with some other stuff uh we're gonna be putting on there but it, it brought the topic to my attention and i was talking to my boy uh mike over at a uh, monster monster ram my buddy i was talking to him about it and uh me personally from a personal standpoint i don't see the epa winning this one uh, a lot of guys are freaking out right now but i don't see it see that happening um my buddy also informed me that on easy links forums on their website they blatantly in peers day have instructions detailed in terms of how to turn off the emissions or turn off stuff on your vehicle uh, I didn't personally verify that to see if that was true it, it's a forum you can put anything on a forum uh, if that is on there but if it's not from easy link but if it's from somebody else a different entity saying it on there then it's clear it's, or it's free game but if easy link said that uh, it can go both ways but me personally I don't see the EPA winning this lawsuit. Here's why. And I, I've told I've told so many people this because they ask me, oh, if I just get an easy link, is that it? No, that is not it. A blank easy link auto cal is useless. It is blank. It is exactly what the word is, blank. There's nothing on it. You can plug it up. You can uh, read your diagnostic codes. You can clear codes. Like if you got a check engine light, you know, you can monitor parameters and stuff, you know, basic stuff like coolant temp trans temp all, all that type of basic stuff but in terms of modifying the engine in terms of how it operates from the factory you cannot do nothing with the easy link which leads me to my point that it's user operated if that makes sense the the users are the ones that are making that happen uh and if we can go back take it back to 2013 hns hns was the big dog on the street back in the early 2000s or back in the early 2010s they were the big dog on the street Everybody knew about HNS and HNS software. Where HNS failed at, and people learned from it then, such as EFI Live and all these other cats, is HNS was selling their tuners with the capabilities to already do what you want done to your vehicle. You, if you, you try, you know what I'm saying? You, you hear me out, all right? So, by having something like that, that right there is completely different. That's why they end up getting shut down and all that stuff. Um, but by by just purely selling. A device that has no potential to do that unless the user themselves messes with it or you know finagle it or tune it whatever they do other than that you can't really hold the company accountable for what the actions of people using it do if that makes sense that's kind of like suing Windows or suing Apple or somebody because they're like oh such and such used a Windows operating system to hack into my system or to create a virus for a computer it's like i didn't tell him to do that like that's 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 on their own discretion you know what i'm saying like i have nothing to do with that i provide a user-friendly software to where everybody can use it what you do with it on the side and and all that stuff that's on you i'm not nowhere on my website do i advertise that and the re it's cool because i have this autocal here with me and i'll show you guys here in a second what it so we come over here Clear as day, the EasyLink Auto Agent introduces 
New over-the-air technology to the automobile repair, maintenance, and fleet management industries, the auto agent can perform diagnostics, data acquisition, vehicle software updates, and fleet tracking while transmitting all data to the EasyLink. Let's see what it says over here. Vehicle reprogramming, reflash. Read and clear diagnostic trouble codes, data log, record, remote diagnostics by professionals, fleet tracking, certified electronics, view live vehicle data. Okay, so nowhere on here does it say anything about tampering with emissions and tech or tampering with uh, in intact software. Well, you might be saying, well, what about that first one that says vehicle reprogramming, reflashing? Well, if I got 2008 Dodge Ram and the ECU or, the, or my ECM took a shit and I need to reinstall... Uh, you know, a, a factory reflash, it sounds like I can use this. You get what I'm saying? It's not saying that it can turn off emissions, it can do all this stuff. It's just saying that, hey, we can reinstall, reflash your ECU or your ECM, whatever you have. You get what I'm saying? So, that's my personal opinion on this. Um, I don't see, I don't see the government, I don't see EasyLink losing this. Now, I know people are freaking out because they're like, oh, it's the end of tuning, it's the end of tuning. Y'all check it out. You get... As bad as, as much as I don't want to say something to say, it's because it just needs to be put out there. Tune is not going nowhere. It's not. Uh, they are dealing with the drug game, essentially, if that makes any sense. War on drugs. It never got one. It, it never did. And it never will get one. It really won't, um, unless they legalize it. But it's pretty much going to be that. H&S got shut down in 2013. Everybody thought it was the end of the world. Guess what? Other companies came up. Fast forward 2021. Other companies are coming up, up and comings. It's always going to be here, y'all. It's just you got to know who to go to and where to get it from is what I'm getting at, okay? And with that being said, y'all, and this is a pet peeve of mine personally, is that you have to understand that don't put yourself out there as a target, okay? And I'm, I'm talking to my 18, my 17 years olds, y'all out there that are fucking rolling coal and dumping this shit on every swinging dick you see thinking you're cool. You're fucking over a lot of hardworking Americans right now that that they use this money to feed their families, bring money to the table. Why? Because you're putting yourself in a highlight scene. So what happens? You roll a call on some some person standing at the corner of a light stop. Next thing you know, they call in the EPA, drop in an anonymous tip saying, oh, and then Lord forbid they take a picture of your license plate. And then they're like, oh, such and such on this corner, this city, zip code, state did this and it's unacceptable that truck does not need to be on the streets you we can't get mad at the epa why because and as a whole as a whole in the diesel community we did this to ourselves it really did um you know between the tv shows between people being idiots and just jackasses like it's, it's as simple as that because guess why or this is my point there's how many people you know out there with gas cars that are catless exhaust systems modified uh all sorts of stuff in the gas world but how many of them shops you hear about getting shut down getting fined getting raided because the epa found out they don't why because besides going fast and sounding loud there is nothing else substantial that can warrant them coming to harass them and the thing about it is you can have a stock car and you can buy a car off the dealership a dog you can buy an srt you can buy a hellcat you can buy a z71 or Z11, and you can get that power and sound performance. And those are legally emissions equipped vehicles. So in the gas community, they don't have the smoke and the clouds on them like we do in the diesel community because it's more pronounced in the diesel community because what happens? You slam the pedal, it spools up, it makes a bunch of noise, a ton of black smoke comes out the tailpipe. It's super obvious. So we've done this to ourselves is what I'm getting at. But at the end of the day, y'all, this is my personal opinion. Uh, I don't think Easy Link is gonna get shut down from this. I don't think. One second. It's starting to rain. It's been raining all day here. Um, I don't think Easy Link is gonna get shut down for this. I don't think they're going to lose this. I personally think they're gonna win this. In my personal opinion, just because they gotta have they gotta have like an inside dude or some some solidified evidence saying, hey, these dudes were selling this knowingly, knowing that they were gonna do all this stuff. I mean, who knows what'll happen? I've heard word on the block is they pause selling of shit. My drink getting wet. They pause selling of uh, Easy Link Auto Agents, which I mean, hopefully if you were able to get one, um, good for you. But there's other ways to get tuning, y'all, man. You just got to go out there. Don't drop in the comments asking where can I get tuning from or where did you get the auto cow from. Go out there, get on Google, be a creep, 
and figure it out. You guys, you guys will get what you want. You know what I'm saying? So with that being said, if you enjoyed the video, smash the thumbs up. Like always, thank you for checking out the channel. Make sure you subscribe, join the family, all that good stuff. I would love to hear every single one of y'all's opinion on this topic and let me know what you think because you guys know your opinion matters to me and I try to comment and reply to every single one of y'all, okay? So until next time, um, hey, like I said, shameless plug again, second time. I got content for 95 Impala SS if anybody is into GM, uh, Chevy 350s, B-bodies, old school Chevy cars. I'm, I'm about to be dropping content. I got more parts coming in today. I just had an EGR valve. I know, this car has an EGR valve. I just got an EGR valve in for the car. I got a bunch of stuff I'm going to be changing here soon. Also, be on the lookout for a video. We're going to be installing the Easy Link, and we're going to be installing some other stuff on my buddy's 2019 Ram 3500 Dually, which we recently put a Rough Country 5-inch lift on last week. But I was pressed and slammed on time, and so was he, so we didn't have time to make a full in-depth vlog and all that good stuff. But we're not going to do that again when it comes time to install the, the good stuff, all right? So until next time, y'all take care, be safe, and I will see y'all later.